G'day everyone, how is all going? Uh, as you can see, we're out and about, so, and what are we doing, Nanny? We're going away, Max. Yes, we at are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. It's uh, Friday afternoon, we've knocked off work. Yes. Lockdown's over after months. It's, uh, it's so good, great feeling. And uh, where are we going, Nanny? Yes, we're going out to Broke this weekend just to relax and recoup and enjoy. Yeah, we've uh, spent a few weekends at home. Yeah. Lawn's looking fantastic. Yeah. But it's time to go out and about again. So, yeah, yeah we're heading off to Broke. It's, um, it's sort of about an hour out of Newcastle. And there's a free little camp spot out there that we're going to go out to. So, yes. come along and... Uh, yes, we'll show you Broke. It should be a great weekend. everyone good morning here we are broke it's uh never ceases to amaze us this place it's just perfect for a weekend getaway it's about an hour out of newcastle easy access via the um hunter expressway if you want or we'll come up through cessnock where all the vineyards are flat areas tr trade uh, shady trees open yes. areas if you want to change the solar panels it's yeah. it's great it's one of natty's uh favorite spots yep, I like it up here so simple uh, for us so yeah so we'll um we'll show you around and show you the history of broke show you the sort of the campground area and uh, yeah. give you a taste of why we like it so much so yep. good morning broke is actually the meeting point of a number of roads we've got the one that heads down there which is Wallenby Road heads out to Wallenby then it heads south to Sydney by the old Great North Road. Swing over here, it goes out towards the west of the valley, heading out towards, say, Dubbo. And then just up here, at the uh, past the little park there, which I'll show you, it's, uh, it heads over the bridge and you can join up with the uh, Putty Road to head to Sydney again. So some great, uh, some great windy roads to head down to Sydney. A number of bikes and car clubs sort of come up by the two different ways from Sydney and join here at uh, Broke. There's a little village store which I'll show you over there. It sells all fuel, of course. Uh, it's actually a licensed bottle shop. It has all the supplies that you may need. You can get firewood, water. So yeah, so it's a good little general store. Heading back along Broke Road there, back to Cessnock. It's about 25 minutes. It's also the location of a lot of vineyards. It's also the location of a lot of um, concert venues like Hope Estate, Invasion Estate, Roach Estate. A lot of um, international stars come out and uh, sing. So if you want to stay at Broke, head back to the vineyards for a concert. They usually run around September through to about March each year. It's a perfectly located area. At Stuart Mataggart Park, they've just recently upgraded it. New swings, a bit of a skate park, very popular. There's also a set of toilets there. If you turn here on Milverdale Road, go over the little bridge, the Wallenby Brook. You'll 
come across all the wine area. A large number of wineries out there, restaurants, so very nice. This area was first inhabited by the Wanarua tribe for many thousands of years. In the 1820s, European settlement made its way here. It was sort of on the way between Sydney and Singleton. John Blacksland, famous explorer, he, uh, he settled here and built his homestead right here. Sandstone blocks are still there from the original foundation. Broke was officially named in 1830 by Major Thomas Mitchell after a colleague, Sir Charles Broke the. So let me show you McNamara Park here at Broke. It's a beautiful little camp area, free camping. You can stay for up to three days. There's plenty of trees for shade. There's plenty of open areas for sun. If you've got to charge your solar panels. There's a toilet over in the side there I'll show you. But yeah, beautifully located here in the heart of the Hunter Valley. New South Wales. We might go for a bit of a drive through the park just to show you the different areas you can camp, different options you have. Basically you've got a big flat area out the front near the road, Broke Road, or you've got little hidden areas out the back. along this little toilet block two unisex toilets very clean well maintained there's also garbage bins scattered around the park so it keeps things nice and clean I don't believe there's any fresh drinking water available I haven't found any as yet so if you uh, head to broke bring some water. around the first or second week of September, Broke has its big village fair. There's a massive display of vintage cars. There's also stalls and so many things to do. However, this has been canceled the last couple of years due to COVID. Also in the long weekend of June, this place is packed out. They have smoking Broke here. And uh, yeah, very well supported by everyone near and far. But uh, yeah, Fantastic little park. Good morning. Good morning. Geez, uh, it's been a great weekend so far, hasn't it? Yes. Uh, Broke's yes. always fantastic. Yep. We, uh, checked out the place a bit more yesterday. Yep. Uh, pizza's on the weather last night. Mm -hmm. Yummo. Mm -hmm. and this morning we're just having a bit of bacon and eggs. Yep. But uh, last night, a bit of rain came through and 
it's always good to be in Max in the rain, it's uh, nice yeah. and cosy. Yeah. But yeah, um, Broke, yes, great place. Something to think about is for all those uh, caravanners who are sort of just starting off or about to get your caravan, it's a great place to come out to and just set up and just sort of try out all your gadgets because yeah. it's easy to get on and get off and yeah. there's no real hassles in parking, there's open places. Mm, there's it's, plenty uh, of room. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, so yeah, so if mm. you think about getting getting caravan, this is a good go to place just to check it out and uh, make sure everything's right before you hit those caravan parks. So yeah, anyway we'll do a bit more today and see how we go. Yep. Have a great day. See us. Yummo.